in this javascript tutorial we are going to see numbers and uh, booleans so let's see first uh, numbers numbers are nothing but the numeric values and using numbers we can perform the mathematical operations such as uh, we can add two numbers we can subtract two numbers we can perform multiplication operation and also we can perform the division operations so like this many more operation can be performed by using the numbers in the mathematical side so coming to the syntax we can write the first data type followed by variable name and directly we can assign the value so if you look at the first example here so we are assigning the positive number and uh, in the second example we are assigning the negative number and in the example 3 we are assigning the decimal point number so let's go to the vs code and let's execute couple of commands where we are uh, declaring and declaring boolean numbers and also we are assigning the respective values and also we'll start performing the addition of two numbers and we'll subtract two, sub, subtract two numbers we'll perform the multiplication division and in the example 4 we'll see how to add the a number and a string so now i will go to the visual studio code now so let's create the one variable and we'll assign the positive number first here i'll say var var and number one so here i'll assign the positive number so positive number positive number negative number even decimal point number can be assigned in the javascript so right now i have created number one and if i print the value of number one so number one contains the 10 value so like this we can create uh, another variable and uh, we can assign we can assign the negative number as well so here i'll say number two and i'll add the value as minus 20 and let's create another number three we can assign even decimal point number as well so here i'll say number three here i'll say 30 point one two three so if i print number two it will print the negative number that is 20 right so it has a 20 value and if i print the number three and it will print the decimal point number if let's print the number three so it contains the decimal point number right so so far you have seen how to declare and initialize the numbers in the javascript so let's perform some mathematical operation let's add two numbers so here we have the number one and uh, number two and number three let's add number one and number three so simply i will use the variable here number one and space followed by that i will say number three so addition of number one that is 10 plus number 330 it will be 40.123 right so if you look at here our output is 40.123 and let's try to perform the sub subtract operation and let's here i'll say number one i will use the number one and number three here again and here i'll say number three so if you look at here so if you look at the output over here so minus 20 dot one two three because uh, 10 minus 30 so because uh, minus 30 it will be always so it returns you the minus minus 20 because uh, here bigger number is in the minus side right so that's the reason output is minus 20 and let's multiply number one and number two by using the asterisk symbol so here you can use uh, number one asterisk symbol followed by that we can use the number three right so if you look at the num uh, output so that is a 301.23 so this is the expected output so and in the similar way you can perform even the division operation so let's take the number one so here what we will do is simply we will divide 10 by 2 here i'll take the number one and here i'll say slash followed by 2 and if you look at the output here it is 5 because 10 divided by 2 it is a 5 right so that's the expected output and also you can perform the modulus for example here here, here i'm taking the example of again number one which contains the value of 10 and here i'll say one modulus two the output will be zero right sorry guys so let me just repeat the command once again so because we are entering the incorrect variable name right so you need to enter the number one not the just number 
So if you look at the output over here, so output is zero. That's the expected value. So let's see the example for now. How to add a number and a string? So let's first create the string. So here I'm creating a string as where, sorry where, and followed by that word I'm adding it. So here I'll say JavaScript tutorial. So that's it. And right now we are having the number. So let's add number one and the word string, right? How you can add a number and a string. So eventually it is not possible directly. First we have to convert our number into the string. Then we can add the both the strings. So we can add two strings by using the plus icon or even we can use the inbuilt methods. So let's use this number one and we'll convert this into the string and by using the addition operator we can add the two strings. So let's say here number one dot two string. So there's a method called two string. So this will convert any number into the string. So previously output output was displaying directly the number, right? So this time it is displaying in the form of string. In the single quotation it is printing it, right? So now we are we have converted number one into the string. And once we are having the string, directly we can add the another string. So here we are having the word. So here I'll say colon and followed by that I'm using the plus icon and I'm using the word. That's it guys. So if you look at the output, so first we have converted number one into the string. So that's a 10. And after that, in the double quotes, I'm writing the colon, that's a colon, and I'm printing the value of word. So word contains the JavaScript tutorial that is getting printed over here. So that's it guys. So this is all about the numbers in the JavaScript. So let's look at the booleans. So boolean contains only the true or false values. So basically when these boolean values will be used whenever we are performing uh, some operation based on the flag. Say for example, uh, let's, let's take an example of a payment system. When payment is successful, we have to perform some operations. And if the payment is failed, we have to perform some other operations. In these cases, so true or false, these values are very important. If payment is successful, we will be getting the true value. If payment is failed, we will be getting the false value. Based on that, we can perform the some of the some of the operations in the business workflow. So let's take an example of one. So we are comparing two numbers and also we'll take the example of two. We are comparing two strings. So before we compare any numbers and strings, so let's see how to assign the Boolean values. So you can similarly, you can uh, create the variable as is here. I'm giving the one variable name as is button clicked. So here I can assign directly true, right? So if I print the value of the is button clicked, so this is a true, right? So like this, you can assign even false value also. So these are the inbuilt values present for the Boolean type. So now what we will do is let's compare any two numbers. So we'll take an example of booleans only, oh, sorry, numbers. So if you look at here, we are having number one and the number three. So this has the 10 value number one and number three has the 30 value. And if you come down, if I come down here, so let's compare number one. And to compare the any numbers or a string, we'll, we will be using the more than one equal symbols and here I'll say number three right now that is the result or the output is false because if you see the number one and number two so number one has the 10 number three has the 30 so it is not a same number right let's now override the value of the number three so here I'll say 10 so if I print the number one so this uh, number one also contains the 10 value so now this time number one contains the 10 value and number one also contains the 10 value. So if I compare like this again, once again, number one, number one and number three, so this time the output would be true because both the numbers are matching over here. So here I'll say number one. So here I'll say equal to, triple equal to, and number three. 
So this time our numbers are matching and the output is true. So basically whenever there is a button and if that button is clicked, just pass the value as a true to the application or the backend of the system. In those cases, we'll be using the true or false conditions and also we'll be using uh, booleans in the for loop, while loop and uh, in the basically whenever we are uh, comparing two numbers or whenever we are comparing any uh, two strings. So we will be using the booleans mode. So we have compared the two numbers. So let's compare two strings as well. So here I'll say where firstly I will create the two strings. So here I'll say word one. Here I'll say JavaScript. And in the similar fashion, I will add word two as JavaScript. So that's it guys. So now in the similar fashion, how we are com how we are comparing the numbers, even we can compare the strings. So this time word one and word two has the same set of characters, right? So this time it will be passing. So if I compare word one equal to and word three, sorry, word two. So if you see here, output is true. So let's say I will update the word two here I'll say word 2 and here I'll assign the some other value here I'll say test so now word 2 contains the test so if I compare again word 1 and word 2 so this time the output would be the false because word 1 and word 2 are not matching so here I'll say word 1 and followed by that word 2 the output is false so this is the expected uh, output guys so this is how you can try the couple more examples in the JavaScript for the numbers and the booleans. If you are having any issues, you can comment in the comment section.